Hey guys, Pastor Tanner here, upgrading your Logos Bible software, things you might not know. Logos 10 just launched at the time of the recording of this video, and I have gotten so many questions that I didn't realize I would get because it's just knowledge I take for granted. Things I understand about purchasing Logos Bible software because I've been a user for so many years. But these questions come up time and time again, and so we wanted to put together a quick video just to help inform you guys so you can make the best purchasing decision, understanding what you're getting, understanding what you're trying to buy. I don't know how many times I got this question. I have Logos 9 Gold, so why is my purchase of Logos 10 Gold so expensive? Some variation of that question. And this just represents some fundamental misunderstandings about how Logos Bible software-based packages work. So I'm just trying to orient us to exactly how this is done. You see, in Logos Bible software, there's a difference between feature sets and base packages. All of the cool features that you see being advertised for Logos 10 are all available in feature sets, no books. Base packages include both feature sets and books. And so a lot of people don't understand that distinction. So if you say to yourself, why? I just upgraded. I already got Logos 9. Why do I have to shell out now again for Logos 10? The only thing you want, if that's your mindset, is you want feature sets. You don't want books. You don't want libraries. If you have Logos 9 Gold, you don't need Logos 10 Gold. You need Logos 10 Full Feature Set. That's it. So you're going to want to go ahead and go to the website and navigate to the feature sets and go ahead and pick which ones have the features you're looking for. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not a nominal upgrade price, but man, it's not the sticker shock that you're looking at when you're looking at buying an entire new library. That's the difference. Now, before you act on that, I just want to give you a few more points to orient yourself towards purchasing Logos Bible software. First, at the time of this recording, at least for an upgrade from Logos 9 to Logos 10, if you purchase something that has a feature set in it, you get a discount on Logos 10. There's a link that we can give you to navigate to. Go ahead and check it out in the description below. But if you click that link, you can utilize it to get a lower price on Logos 10 for that feature set upgrade. This is something that Logos didn't have to do, but they understand that it feels like it hurts when you're upgrading so soon after purchasing for the first time. So they give that available to you. I think this is a really nice option. The second thing I want you to know is that when you purchase base packages, you do not get access to those base packages again in the future. Now, recently, Logos has done some throwback base packages once in a while, but it's not typical. It's a one-time thing. And so here's what I want you to know. If you purchased a base package in Logos 9 or any previous iteration of Logos, that is the only time those base packages are on offer, at least typically. That's huge actually. So when they move to Logos 10, it's not as though you purchased at the wrong time and now you're being punished because they upgraded. No, it's the reverse. In fact, your base package is retired and nobody can get it again. Again, barring exceptional circumstances. So now you just have to make the decision. Do I want more books to add to my library or am I happy with my current library and I only want features? This is how I look at purchasing the software. I want you to know that I follow my own advice when it comes to this. I have personally, for the last several years, each iteration of Logos, gone out of my way to purchase the largest base package I could afford. And I was happy to do so because I knew that the cheapest way to get any book in Logos is to get it in a base package. And once I get it in a base package, I am getting the best value for purchasing that resource. And when they refresh base packages and give us new ones, I now have a new opportunity to purchase resources at the steepest discount possible all over again. I always look forward to the new Logos releases, not just for new features, but because I can get new books at the lowest possible price. That's my attitude towards it. And I think a lot of people don't understand that. So I just wanted to orient you towards purchasing base packages. It's not that you're getting the short end of the stick. In fact, you have an advantage because you have a base package that's no longer available. Another thing I want to point out to people is dynamic pricing. This is available I believe at this point for all of Logos's resources. Dynamic pricing is this. When Logos offers a collection of books, if you already have those books in your library, then some of those books will lower the price of that collection for you. So let's say you have a previous iteration of the NICOT, NICNT commentary series. Well, when they release 
new commentaries for that. You don't have to purchase them one by one. Buy the new collection because the discounted price, according to your dynamic pricing, is going to be cheaper than if you just bought the resources yourself. This is actually another huge advantage of base packages. Dynamic pricing is huge. If you purchase one of these big libraries, your upgrade in subsequent versions of Logos is going to be much cheaper because you already own so many of the books. Dynamic pricing is huge for your future upgrades in Logos. Another thing that many people don't know about is the 30 day money back guarantee, no questions asked. This is huge. If you're waffling between say silver and gold, you can go ahead and purchase gold, utilize it for up to 30 days and truly ask yourself, are the extra resources worth the value? If you don't find them to be, call in before 30 days are up and tell them I would like to return my base package and they'll do a full refund no questions asked it's fantastic and then you can go ahead and grab silver because you know that that's going to be sufficient for your needs and you don't find the gold upgrade to be worth it I will tell you I myself have purchased resources through community pricing that I ended up not wanting or needing, but I didn't know that until it was in my library and I was surfing around, I was utilizing it, trying to see if I could work it into my regular sermon preparation or study. Once I found it not useful, I went ahead and called up and returned it and I got all of my money back, no questions asked. I love being able to trial resources like this. Finally, guys, two hints to get yourself the best possible deal, okay? First is utilizing a sales rep. Not a lot of people know about utilizing a sales rep, okay? If you call the Logos number on the website, and you get connected to a sales rep, you can talk with them about what you're looking for and they can do everything they can to find you the best possible price. You see, sometimes there are deals out there, coupon codes, if you will, that you're not aware of and you're trying to purchase something and they can offer you a better deal. Many Logos users have built long-term relationships with sales reps for this very reason. And then when they see something they want, they always email or call their sales rep because they know their sales rep is going to get them the best possible deal. Now, if you haven't used one up until now, I want you to know that you're likely not missing out on that much. The last three times I went to purchase something online, I put everything in my cart and then I contacted a sales rep. And each time my price was the same as the sales rep's price. Okay. So it's not always as though you're missing something, but this just covers all your bases. Finally, guys, if you are in seminary or Bible college, Logos Bible software has academic pricing available. You have to put together a submission to show them which classes you are in and which seminary you are enrolled with, but the academic pricing is often better than any single sale they put on. So if you're in seminary or Bible college, take advantage of that, connect your account with academic pricing, and then get the best discounts on all available resources. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions on upgrading in Logos Bible software, please utilize the comment comments below and I will try to answer in a timely manner so you can make the best decision. But I was just getting a lot of the same questions and I just wanted to make sure that you guys had all of the tools available to make the best decisions. Appreciate you all watching our channel. Take care. God bless. Bye.